what is fundamentally student government. Student government, an organization meant to represent, interact, lead, negotiate, all on behalf of the students. The great educational reformer John Dewey defined it as a means to engage students in learning about democracy and leadership. In essence, it is a learning grounds for the real world, backed with the Constitution and student leaders. But what happens when your leader leads you astray? Students fight back when they feel their opinions don't matter. This week, students became irritated from extra prices on food they've already paid for. And not every student agreed with the protest. It was the first real step to students taking action. In the fall of 2011, Indiana Westland student body president Aaron Morrison tried to revolutionize the idea of student government. It started with his involvement in Occupy Wildcat. Cheese price sign that used to be there has already been taken down by, by Pioneer today. Actions like this, coupled with the lack of communication with his cabinet, led to his rapid descent. Eric Morrison handed over his title as student body president Monday after members of his cabinet raised concerns about his leadership ability. I was really confused um, last semester as to what was going on um, with all of the drama and things like that before he resigned, but I was pretty shocked whenever I found out that he had taken that step. It was certainly a very tense time, to say the least. Um, probably the, the tensest time in my life. and. I think it was a flaw in, in my leadership style. Morrison resigned on December 5th, leaving SGA without a face and without direction. Vice President Jenna Childress filled in as interim president for the time being. This is obviously a whole new experience um, being put as president at this point in the semester, but I'm excited and confident for what's coming. The change that Aaron had fought so hard for did not head in his direction. This semester, four bills have been passed. Even the Constitution has been amended. Under Aaron's presidency, no bills were passed, and the Constitution was not considered relevant to his new avenue of student liberty. I am concerned for the future of student government. I'm concerned for it because I'm afraid that it is going to continue to remain irrelevant in the eyes of the student body. He kind of got the ball rolling to get some changes started and whether they're the things he was trying to get changed, I think it definitely um, had the impact of, okay, well, let's re-examine things and make sure um, we're going about things the right way. Current president-elect Aaron Augello will try to dispel that notion next year, but it will be hard to rival the buzz that Morrison created. As Aaron moves on, his love for this place reveals his good intentions. My love for IWU starts first and foremost with the people, with I mean, just the whole community, with the faculty, with the administrators, with the students. There's a sense of people wanting to live their lives with purpose here, that people want to make an impact on the world. Morrison's passion for the university is clear, but his attitude for change now instilled in the students is even more evident. What Aaron was trying to do was change the way the university looked at the students. Um, and I believe he did do that. It may, you may say it's through petty means, like um, getting rid of the extra cost of cheese or like uh, making attempts to change the media policy. Aaron just wanted the university to know that we as the students should have a say. Um, and I think that they realize that now. A reformer, a catalyst, a world changer in the IWU community, trying to make a difference for good. Who can fault a, a person who lives their life well, obediently, and loving other people. They may never get their name written in the history books, but they lived a good life. That's what I want my legacy to be.